So what does it mean to think critically? It's a, an interesting question because there's a lot of confusion for people. That It's one of these things that's widely valued, it's, talk, it's been in curriculum for generations and yet not a lot of clarity about what it is. So in a nutshell, it comes from a Greek word meaning criteria, it's criterial thinking and that's an important distinction. Often students think it means, it means to criticize, to be critical. And that's a, a misunderstanding. And so what we want to do is help students understand critical thinking is to make thoughtful decisions using criteria to guide you in your decision making. So why is it important that, that we focus on critical thinking? And I think there are two, two sides to that. One is so that students, I mean, first of all, I frame it, uh, it, we live in a democracy. If we have thoughtful civic engagement, students have to be thoughtful about decisions they make. They have to be thoughtful about career choices they make, about being a thoughtful consumer. So to, to just to, to live a full life, you need to be thoughtful in decisions. The flip side, though, is that the students will learn the concepts and the content we want them to learn more deeply if they learn it in a critically thoughtful manner. So, you know, they can learn it in a more superficial way or they can learn it in a way that has engaged them in thinking more deeply. And so I would argue that whatever concepts I want students to learn, they're going to learn more deeply in a critically thoughtful classroom and they're going to live a richer, deeper life as a critically thoughtful person. Learn to think, think to learn is kind of picking up on two sides of you know, we need to teach kids the intellectual tools to allow them to do the thinking, but at the same time we've found uh, in working with, with students and with teachers that you'll learn the content much better if, if it's been problematized, if you've been invited to think about the content, that not only do I need to teach you the intellectual tools you need to be successful in thinking, but what we find is the content, the concepts are learned much more deeply. So there's kind of a double payoff when critical thinking underpins learning. Kids learn how to think better, but they also le learn to, they learn deeper as a result of the thinking they're doing. So it's kind of a double payoff, teaching kids learning the, the, the ability to think deeply, teach them to learn content through that thinking.